doing it from some case and you're watching Life Rock! Hell yeah! Incoming message! Simple, loud and clear! My Review, I have for you the album Manifest Tyranny by Andromeda, Swedish progressive metal. It's an older album, it was released in 2011, but I have three very good reasons to review it anyway. First of all, it's been a while since I reviewed some decent progressive metal, and this is absolutely decent progressive metal, more than decent even. Secondly, the theme of the album is very current if we look at the world we are living in today. Thirdly, I was offered the opportunity, the new bass player of the band asked me if I was interested in reviewing it and I don't always get a signed review copy, so that is pretty cool. But it's the music that counts of course. As I said, solid progressive metal. But they have a few surprises, because when I was listening to the album and heard the first track, Preemptive Strike, well, that is indeed a preemptive strike, because that is the heaviest song on the album, and maybe even the heaviest song that Andromeda did in their career. You know, they really blow you away. And before you get a chance to pick yourself up again, they throw some amazing progressive metal on you. And I gotta say, you know, the tone changes when the, when the second track starts. Um, it becomes, well, a little more proggy. More keyboards get involved, more melody becomes in, but the metal part stays. I mean, the amazing guitars by Johan Reinholz are absolutely stunning throughout the entire album. From shredding solos to beautiful melodies and even the very softer parts in the more ballad-like songs. The rhythm section, Thomas Leon and Fabian Weilen is also really solid, gives the songs a great backbone. And in a couple of songs like Survival of the Richest, the bass plays a more important role because that song is not as heavy, it's a more softer song, but yet, because of the bass, it gives you a bit of a, a doom-like idea. And that fits very well with the theme of the album. Speaking of the theme of the album, if I look at the tracks, I think I got a pretty idea what the album is about. Normally I don't really dive into the lyrics, but with this one I did. I checked out the lyrics because I was curious, what are they singing about? It is very clear, this album is an indictment against our current government leaders and our current greedy corporations that we see around us. Look at the song titles, Lies Are Us, Survival of the Richest, clearly pointed at the greedy corporations that mainly try to get rich over our backs but also false flag and chosen by God. Songs that deal with governments and the way they behave and treat other people. But also an indictment against the wars because in Play Dead we have a big reference to the Iraqi war. So that is all put together in this album and I'm not sure if it's a concept album but it's definitely a general theme running throughout this album. You know, an indictment against the powers that be. they bring it very well because they don't preach but they do point the finger and they do make you think and they do it with fantastic music. The songs are incredible and I mentioned you know you have the really heavy one preemptive strike, you have the more softer one survival of the richest and you have really fantastic absolute progressive metal in the rest of the album. There's one song uh, that kind of brought everything to a halt. I mean, you, you are in this album, you are in this groove, and all of a sudden you come to track number nine, Go Back to Sleep. And it's almost as if that is happening to you, because that is, well, I would call it a ballad. It's a very soft and gentle song, and it has absolutely no traces of metal in it. And I gotta say, you know, 
to be honest, you know, I wouldn't mind if they would have left it off the album um, because now you have this, this break in the middle and then you have that last song, Antidote, which is an incredibly great song. It's a fantastic way to end the album. So, you know, it's kind of a boss killer that, that track go back to sleep. But so be it, it is on it. Um, I mentioned a couple of the band members. I have to mention Martin Hayden, the keyboard player. When I listen to the album, he fills up the songs very beautiful, but at the same time he can really bring these proggy keyboard parts. He can bring really nice solos and really atmospheric soundscapes, which really fits perfectly well and works well with the guitars in the album. Uh, and then we have David Fremberg, the vocalist. I gotta say, he is fantastic, especially considering the message that the band wants to convey. He does a fantastic job in conveying the feelings and emotions that you have in the lyrics. He proves to be an excellent singer and, well, altogether, it's a very tight album. Uh, this, as I said, it has a great groove. Too bad for that one track that is in the middle. I mean, if they had put it in the beginning or at the back, it may have been not such a big problem, but now you are in this metal zone and then all of a sudden you stop and then you go back again. But altogether a fantastic album, so definitely worth checking out. The band is working on new material, so we hope to see a new Andromeda album very soon. Keep an eye on Live Proc because of course I will do my best to bring you a review of that album as well. Check out liveproc.com, there are a lot more reviews there. Also a lot more progressive metal reviews if that's what you like. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All ways to stay in touch with the world of Live Proc. Is there something wrong?